Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome to another Scrum Creation Kit tutorial video. In today's video, we're going to be covering how to get a merchant to sell a key. So this is sort of a lead-on video from my other merchant video, Create a Merchant Revisited, and you can go ahead and check that out at the top right-hand corner of the screen now. Now, this is going to have to be done in a fairly funky way. We're going to have to have a sort of workaround because you cannot directly sell keys to merchants. I'm not sure why, and changing vendor item lists doesn't seem to change that. So we're going to use a script along with a misc item. So what you want to do is go ahead to items and key, and here you'll be able to get a list of keys in the filter. I've already got RS for my key here. And if you want to create a key, the best way to do it is find one that has the model that you like, and then you just make a duplicate and then edit from there. So obviously, if you look at my front door for Riverside Shack here, which I'm using as an example, I've got locked, adept, and set my key to it. That's all set up and good. And then I'll buy the key from a merchant so that I get access to the home. Now, although this isn't the best system, it is a fairly easy system for people that don't really want to mess around doing other things and scripting too much or even editing NPC dialogue. So this is a really simple way. And just to make you aware, this isn't how the new version of Riverside Shack is actually going to work. But it's, it's good for the tutorial video. So I've got my key. And what you want to do is double click on your key. And you're going to want to grab the model here because, as I said, what we're actually going to do is sell a misc item. And then what it'll be is we'll add a script to the misc item, which will transform that misc item into this key. So I'm going to go under misc item under items, up click and new. The first thing I'm going to do is go to the model, hit edit, edit again, and make sure that I'm under data and meshes in my Scrum directory. And I'm going to control V, paste that in, hit enter and make sure that the model is exactly the same as my other key, which it is because we copied it over. Hit OK, and I'm going to give this a nice unique ID. So RS misc, and we'll have key, nice and simple. And I want to name this the same as it was on my actual key, so key to Riverside Shack. Now the value is an interesting one. This is where this is going to change depending on your level, depending on your speech skill, depending on if a merchant likes you or not. So that's why this may or may not be the most efficient way of selling your house. If you wanted to set price, this probably isn't the best way. But if you don't mind it fluctuating depending on those different variables, it's probably a good thing. So just for fun, I'm going to put that at a value of 2000. And then what you want to go ahead and do is go to pickup sound click select sound, type in the word key, and go for ITM key up SD, put down sound, key, this isn't really necessary, but I'm kind of a stickler for wanting things to be absolutely perfect, so I'm just going to select that, key down, and then you want to go to keywords, hit add, now, what you can do is you can put the vendor item keyword as key. It shouldn't really make any difference. This is more just to decide where exactly it's going to be in the vendor's sort of lists, especially if you use Sky UI, what kind of icon it's going to have. But just to be safe, I would just select vendor item clutter because at the end of the day, as long as it's there, it doesn't matter. But you can go ahead and add key and see if it actually shows up in there still. It should do and see if it gets a nice item if you are using something like Sky UI. So I've got that added, and what I'm going to need to do first is confirm this before I can access the script, so go ahead and do that. See, we've got a key there. Go back in. I'm going to hit Add, and then I'm going to type in key. And if I look here, I've got PM script by key. So this is my custom script here, and it's got sort of nice little tool tips on here and everything, so it's easy to understand. I will quickly run through exactly what this is doing. So obviously you've got your property for your key that's going to be added. You've got a misc property for the dead key. Now what this is, is I have in the past tried to remove the misc item that you actually purchased because you're not going to want that once you've got the actual key. And I've tried to do sort of self remove itself, but it really doesn't work. So what you have to do is state itself as a reference and remove it that way. So I'll show you how that works in a minute. So you have to select the dead key and what sort of the real key. And I've got the object reference for the player, which is where things are being added and removed. So basically, on container change, which is when you buy the key, it changes to your inventory. 
It will check if it's you, make sure it's the player, and it will go player F dot remove item, the dead key, and then it will player F dot add item, the new key. And the reason that it's set to true here is so that it doesn't pop up in the top left because you want it to come across as you've literally bought it, and the player will be none the wiser, and it will just look like you've literally just purchased a key, which is perfectly fine. So that's all fine, that will compile perfectly. Now I want to go to the properties, I want dead key, where I want to state itself, so RS miss key, it's going to be the matching ID. The new key, we're going to put RS and key front door. Player F will autofill, which is said in the tooltip as well. So autofill the player F, hit OK, OK on there. Now what you need to do is go ahead and choose a merchant, which I'm going to go ahead and do now. Okay, so I'm just going to play it safe, and although this doesn't really make any logical sense because of where Riverside Shack is, it's literally miles away, I'm going to choose the Riverwood Trader as my place where I'm going to sell my key. Of course, you're going to want maybe your own merchant or a different merchant or a merchant just close to your home, whichever one you want, it really doesn't matter. Just be aware of when you are editing merchants in the game that other mods might overwrite it, so your own merchant might be a wise choice. Now, whatever merchant you choose, because we decided to add the keyword to the key as clutter, that means it is a MISC item, and you're going to need a vendor that will sell MISC items. Now, if you did try adding the vendor type keyword, then that probably would have to go into the vendor uh, sort of formless. So I would just stick with having it as a clutter item and make sure that it's given to a merchant that can sell it. So... There are two ways in which you can do this, and if you have watched the other video on creating a merchant, revisited, it kind of covers it. I could add it to Lucan himself. Now, the reason this is a good thing is because the game basically has a sort of weird bug where it will actually sell things that are in a NPC's inventory. So, in this case, anything in here that he's able to sell, his iron dagger, his iron mace, uh, his sort of... Um, whatever he's got in this loot, if it's anything that he can sell, so various things like rings, they will actually be sold by him. And as far as I know, there's no mods that can fix this, so we can tend to take advantage of this fact, and what we'll do is we'll drop something into his inventory here, and what happens with these is once they're gone, they're gone forever. So these should not actually respawn, whereas his merchant container would respawn. So if you're seeing the thing here... If you want to be able to somehow sell the key twice, which would be buying the house twice, you can dump it into his merchant chest. Or you can do it this way, which is the way that I would prefer if I'm selling a key to a house. I would place it into his personal inventory. So that's the way that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to go, oh, click and new. Type in RS and we've got key front door there. But you don't want that one. You want to drop down and you want RS misc key. Otherwise he's not going to sell that at all. So as long as he can sell these types of items, which this guy can, he's got RS misc key, and this should now be something that will get sort of thrown into his merchant container, and you'll be able to buy that as well. And once you buy it, it's gone forever. But like I said, because of the price, all the differences, it might end up being more than 2000 So I'm going to hit OK there. OK. Now what should happen is we go ahead in-game, buy that miscellaneous item, it's taken off him, the key is added to our inventory, and we can go ahead and unlock the doors at Riverside Shack. So let's go in and check. To do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking. Okay, about so this. once these pair have oh, stopped arguing, uh, a customer. Yeah, well, I don't know we will go ahead heard, and but... ask oh, what have you got for sale. Once he stopped telling us his life story. And if we go along, we can see that he's now selling the key to Riverside Shack if everything went well. And he's actually trying to rob us blind. We set the price to 2000 and as you can see, because I'm only sort of a level 1, I don't have any perks, it is ridiculously expensive. But again, depending on different circumstances, that could be higher or lower than 2000 in gold, so you'll have to experiment with it. So you can go ahead, purchase that. You'll see it's just done the usual, gold removed, because we set true to kind of hiding the notifications for things being added and removed. Go to... Your inventory now, you'll see we don't have the MISC version we just purchased, we actually have the key itself, which is absolutely perfect. Damn thieves. And that will unlock the door to Riverside Shack. 
And that is it for another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. So I hope you found it useful. Please let me know in the comments section below. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Also go ahead and check out the rest of my work at www.darkfox127.co.uk. And also feel free to check out the brand new Discord that we've got set up. So that's pretty fun. We've got a lot of talk going on there about mods and such. And you can even get some help on anything that you're currently working with. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll speak to you next time.